Hey guys, Mark Boswell, Boswell Emergency Medical Education. Um, little CEN uh, study preparation short video I'm doing here. Just got a question from one of the current um, people that's in my online flex session. And they're asking about the validity or the reliability of the BCEN practice exams. Um, I want to know if they're useful, um, if they're reliable, if they're an accurate predictor of actual test performance. So yes, I have used their products before. And you're going to find the same things I tell you about the workbook that the BCN sells called the CEN uh, Review Manual from the BCN, not mine, but theirs. Um, that book that has five practice tests in it plus two online ones, I can say the same thing about that product that I'm fixing to tell you about the online practice test from the BCN, okay? So they're both basically the same. Um, in both cases, they cannot absolutely say that performance on either the study book practice exam or the online practice exam, they can't totally say, yes, this is an accurate predictor. There's just too many variables um, in there. And the breadth and the, um, the sheer magnitude of the number of questions that could actually be asked and the different levels of question asking is variable. So no, they can't actually say it's not an, the most reliable predictor, but I can only assume that as long as the exam has the questions proportioned out approximately the same as the blueprint, the actual CE and blueprint, and it's authored and it's published by the same company that does the actual CE exam, you're gonna be getting a lot of good information. Um, I would actually say it's the, the most useful thing. Um, I, I would think that your scores on the BCN practice exam are going to, while they may not 100% correlate with what you actually do on the CEN exam, I'm gonna say they should be pretty close. And really to make an assessment of if your score's a good score or not, it's really to do more than one. And then kind of look at what the trend is or look what the average is. Um, that's one reason why I like the, the big CEN manual, fifth edition from the ENA. Um, I like, it's that big thick book. It runs about 75 or 80 bucks. It's got five exams in it and two codes for two online exams. That's seven whole exams you get to take. And even after just doing it two or three different ones, you should be able to see a trend and note some trends in the different exam sections. So I also like the fact that the online practice exam from the BCM, it replicates the testing environment. In other words, you're having to sit there in front of a computer for that three hour window. Um, you're having to, you know, get exposed to reading stuff on the computer screen, you know, picking the right answers, um, going through a little more of that actual testing scenario, that testing environment, okay, versus just reading questions randomly when you have free time. Um, it gives you more an idea of that time pressure. Now, I don't want you to feel pressure, but more that time restraint, you know, uh, to get it done in. Um, also, doing their practice exams, that's 150 other questions, if you just do one online one, that's 150 other questions that are working on your brain, your short-term memory, your cognitive skills, bringing back stuff out of long-term memory that you can make it useful when you have to recall it during the actual exam process. So it's a learning process as well, too. So that's kind of my take on the whole thing. Um, I will say I do believe, if, if I had to say what are the best practice exam materials, I'm going to say it's anything from the ENA or the BCN. Um, a lot of those questions on those practice exams are ones that just, they just didn't include on the actual exam. Um, you know, they can only include so many in the database or the data bank of exam questions and some don't make the cut. For where, It doesn't mean they're invalid questions. These ones are written by the same exam item submitters, uh, exam item writers. So it's going to have their similar um, theme, style, and the tone of their question. They're going to be um, using certain grammar and verbiage that's reflective of the same grammar and verbiage that's on the actual exam itself. So, my overall recommendation is yes, I do believe it's useful. I don't think that just doing one practice exam, whether it be out of the exam review book from the ENA or the online practice ones from the BCN, um, I don't think just doing one of those is really a good assessment, but it is a good starting point. I would do multiple ones and then see what the trend is over time and uh, break it down by the blueprint sections, like see how you're doing on your cardiac sections over repeat times. You might notice some trends and some patterns. And that's what I do when uh, people come to me one-on-one -on -one for some mentoring. 
uh, trying to improve, improve their personal study plan, um, looking at trends, um, looking at percentages, kind of playing the numbers, and seeing really you know, where their strengths are and where the weaknesses are, so to speak. All right, so overall, I do recommend the BC and Prax exams. I think they are, um, and if they're not perfect, I believe they're the most useful um, exam-like practice scenario environment that you can get for all the reasons I talked about. I hope that helps. I'm going to post this. Um, feel free to write some comments down below. Email me, um, Facebook me, whatever you need. Um, I hope this helps, and uh, I'll see you soon online, hopefully.